What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's episode is going to be another product review. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button down below. Also that notification bell. That way when I upload new videos, you guys will be notified. Today's video is going to be on the Core Essentials EDC belt. The past two years I've been running the Wolf Tactical EDC belt. This has served me well, but it has worn out and I want to try something different. Reached out to Core Essentials. They were kind enough to send me one of their EDC belts to do a review. So I just want to say thanks. What they all sent me was a hat, belt buckle, the belt itself, a Core Essentials belt keeper. So what made me want to try Core Essentials is their ratcheting system they have in their belt. So when you get your belt out of the box, it's going to come fully length, meaning that it'll go up to 54 inches. So if you are 54 inches, it'll fit you. If not, cut it down. Now, I already cut mine down but each of these are numbered 28 all the way to 54. That of course is going to be your waist size but for you to size these belts, Core Essentials want you to add 4 inches to your waist. So I'm a 32 inch waist and I cut mine to 36. Use some nice scissors, cut this off and on the belt loop that you get there's plenty of designs that you can choose from. They all work the same way. There's two little allen screws there, 564 allen wrench and you unscrew them until they're almost completely out. A little lever that's kind of loose. This is what's going to hold it in. And you take your end that you just cut, stick it in the hole here. You're going to push down this lever. So you hear it snap. It takes a lot of force. There it goes. And then you're going to screw in the two little Allen screws. Now you already have that lever pushing down onto the belt, so it's not going to move, but I like this idea from Core Central just because it gives you an extra sense of assurance that the belt is not going to come off. So you're just going to snug that down. You don't want to over tighten it. And this is how it's going to look installed. This is the one and a half inch belt material. This is in multi cam black. They make a whole bunch of different colors black, tan, olive drab, I believe, multi cam, camo, a whole bunch of different colors. You guys choose from. I'll leave a link down in the description box for you guys to check them out. It's got over 40 ratcheting sections on here for you to fit to your waist. In addition to this, the belt has a reinforced center core, meaning that on top of this pattern here, there's some material on the inside that runs the whole length of the belt here that makes it super rigid. So you I'm gonna try squeezing it and it's not budging. It's, this belt is super, super stiff, which is what I wanted because I appendix carry a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 compact the spare mag and 16 rounds with the gun so that's 31 rounds of ammunition I have on me and I need something to hold that. So the way that the ratcheting system on here works is basically you got your belt loop here you gotta stick this inside of here and then on the inside I'm not sure if you can see it but there's like a little claw or nipple in there that will catch onto these ratcheting sections here so once you put it on over there like that. It's gonna ratchet, 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 and it's not gonna come back. You can keep ratcheting inward to make it tighter, but it won't come loose. For you to take the belt off, there is a little lever here on the bottom. You push that outward and then you can pull the belt out. Again, everything here, fit and finish, is second to none. I don't know what type of stitching they use because I don't sew, but everything looks to be really nicely stitched. Back. Another cool thing is that these belts are made here in the USA, so if you guys are want to support products made here in the United States, go and buy yourself a belt. I will leave a link in the description box below, so check them out and use the discount code NITO Tactical, 10% off your purchase. Don't forget to use that code, I'll also leave that in the description box below. So let's see how this belt looks like, and we'll go from there. So I just tucked in my shirt. Normally I wear two shirts um, or an undershirt just because the Smith & Wesson MAP does have the rough texture. I forgot one last thing they did send me was a belt keeper. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. But basically you put this on the end of the belt in case you have some overhang and if you're in between loops. But anyways, you can actually just keep on ratcheting until it's nice and tight which is nice so like this end here it's got the extra loop so you can actually 
I guess I should have done it before, but loop this in the on the inside. Actually, why don't I just show you guys? This ratcheting system is so neat. So it's got the belt keeper there. So this does not flop around. But that's what she looks like. Again, everything is really nice, tight. And I can already tell that this is going to hold my pistol really good. So this is what I carry. An MMP 2.0 compact 4-inch model with the 509T Surefire X300. I got a whole video on this. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out in my videos down below. Anyways, for people that have Penix carry, the belt buckle usually gets in the way. Remedy on that is you're going to remove the belt buckle to the side. And again, you don't want to tighten it all the way yet before you put your pistol in your waistband. not going to move on you. Again, if this does have the extra material there, there's this belt keeper you can put in the back here so it stays put. Everything seems to be good. Belt is nice and rigid. The nice thing about this is that it does not dig into my hip. Now, compared to the old buckle that I've had before, I would get a hot spot here, but this one I can already tell it's not going to do that. One thing I forgot to cover, belt keeper here. So you're going to put this in your, on a coat hanger and it's going to take your belt and hang it up just like that basically it clips into where the ratcheting system clips and once you're ready to go push it out good to go what are my final thoughts on this i can retell it's going to be one of my go-to edc belts for a very long time i do have another belt coming in i'm not going to disclose what that is yet so you guys keep an eye out for that video the only thing i can possibly see happening is this little lever here can maybe get pushed with your belly. I don't know if it's, I think it's far out enough to where even if you bend down or bend over, push it. But I guess that's what I'm gonna find out when I'm gonna be using this for the next couple months. I have my everyday carry belt. So can't wait for that. Again, this must be thanks for Core Centrals for sending this belt out for me to do a review. Really appreciate them, really good company. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Also use 9 Tactical to get 10% off your Order. I know I mentioned that already, but 10% off a little bit helps. 920 Tactical, I'll uh, leave something right here. You guys can use it at your checkout. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting more content out for you guys. More product reviews. And until next time, be safe everyone.